All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. And for the third segment of today's show, we're going to go through all the games from last night, talk about, you know, what the updated standings are, things like that. So what we normally do, um, you know, so far. Uh, I think the stream is back up and running good. I mean, I'm going to go back and watch it, make sure nothing happened. I know there's going to be times where you might see, like, my screen is going to, like, shrink down and stuff, but that's because I'm playing with stuff on OBS. Um, so just, uh, again, some technical issues that you got to work through, but I, I think we, I think we should be good. So, and, and if not, then, you know, we'll, we'll have to deal with it. But, um, yeah. So with last night, uh, pretty sure every team played last night. We'll go through the games. We'll try to, we'll go through all of them. I know when I went through, well, we're going to go through many, all of them anyways, but I know I tried to order them in, you know, from less important to, you know, the more important games, but, um, but yeah, so let's kind of go through it. So first let's get the Yankees and the Red Sox out of the way. Cause they're at the top, at least for me, uh, on my phone. So the Yankees actually were able to split, well, actually not split. They were able to win both games of their double header with the, uh, with the Red Sox. They won three to two um, yesterday, and and of course my dad is doing some work downstairs, so just bear with me here. So the Yankees won three to two. The first game, uh, Johnny Brito picked up the win, and uh, Nick Pavetta picked up the loss. Um, then in the second game, uh, the Yankees won four to one. They were losing. They were losing one nothing like for a while. And then, um, then they were able to put up two runs in the fifth and the sixth inning. So they ended up making it two to one. And then they tacked on two more runs in the top of the ninth, and they got the win four to one. So um, Carlos Rodon picks up the win, his third win on the season, um, and he lowered his ERA to six games. Um, so. Or, wait, what did I say? Six games? I meant to say six as an ERA. Um, actually, it, well, yeah. So, that was a doubleheader. Um, actually, give me a, one second. I'll be right back. All right, sorry, I'm back. Um, yeah. Uh, I was trying to get through that. Well, my dad finished what he had to do. But, um, yeah. That was uh, that was not good. But um, we're back. Uh, so yeah, Yankees. They uh, they won two games with a doubleheader, and yeah, they're back over five hundred, and they are tied with the Red Sox right now for last place. So again, battle for last place. So that's that's great. <laughs> so then we um. Then we move on to another doubleheader. So uh, this was the Royals and the White Sox. A lot of scoring in these games. Um, what did I say the Red Sox? White Sox. White Sox and Royals. Uh, first game, White Sox won 6-2. to two. And then in the second game, they beat uh, the Royals won 11-10 over the White Sox. Um, not really much to say there. Royals at a at a hundred and one losses on the season, um, so yeah, it's um, yeah, it's not really much to say. I, and the thing is, I again, I said it yesterday. I thought the A's were going to end up finishing with the worst record, and it looks like the Royals might end up doing that. So um, yeah, uh, so the next game. Pirates they beat the Nationals five to one, and um, yeah, not really much to say about this game either. Uh, both of these teams, the uh, Pirates are at sixty seven losses, Nationals are at sixty five, um, and the Pirates that was a team that got off to a really good start this season, and then it just kind of they kind of just flamed out. So, um, not really much to say there. Um, Next, you got the Cardinals and the Orioles. So the Cardinals they picked up a win, five to two. 
And this is what I was talking about before. Um, Wayne Wright, he's at 199 right now, trying to get to 200. And he picked up his fourth win on the season, 4 and 11 with a 7.95 ERA. So, yeah, that's another re one of the reasons why the Cardinals are kind of in the spot that they're in. Um, is just because, you know, Wayne Wright, I mean, obviously he's not what he was years ago. And, um, you know, but the fact that he's having this season is just, it, it's kind of upsetting, uh, just because, you know, he's been a guy that's been there forever since 2005 and yeah, and this is how he's going to go out, but you're hoping that he gets his 200th win. If he can get that and go out on a high note, that would definitely be uh, that would be definitely really good. Um, and he's 42 years old. I didn't even realize that. Um, but yeah, you're kind of hoping he'd have like you know a year like Pujols last year and go out on you know like that. But yeah, it's just been a rough year for him, and it's been a rough year for the Cardinals in general. So um, yeah, and then uh, we go on. So the Reds they picked up a huge win. So. Six to five over the Tigers, seventy-five and seventy-one on the season. That's their record now. Um, the Braves, they won seven to six in extra innings over the Phillies. Matt Olson hit his fifty-first home run. I I could have swore that he hit fifty-two last night, but I uh, I, I was wrong there. That's that's my bad. Um, he could hey listen, he could hit fifty-two uh, tonight. It's it's possible. It definitely is possible, and we'll get into that in the uh, the final segment of the show. Uh, the Rangers they picked up a huge win. I know I talked about Max Scherzer getting hurt, so Scherzer actually picked up his thirteenth win on the season, thirteen and six, a three point seven seven ERA. Um, and Hunjin Ryu picked up the loss. So I actually said, you know, I I, I thought the Blue Jays were going to get the win yesterday. I thought they were due to get one, but. Um, yeah, that's a big win for the Rangers, and that's a big loss for the Blue Jays, especially in this wild card race. Um, so then we get to the Mets and the Diamondbacks. Mets win seven to four last night. Um, that's it's not a loss that the Diamondbacks want at this point during the season. Um, you know when they're fighting for a wild card spot as well. Um, also. Twins picking up a win against the Rays. That's big for them. They get closer to clinching their division. Rays, I mean, the Orioles lost, so it's not that big of a deal for the Rays. Um, the, de the deficit really didn't change, but, you know, the, the Rays need these games too if they want to, you know, any chance of winning the uh, AL East. Then um, we move on to the Brewers and the Marlins. Brewers pick up a win 3-1. to one. And, um, you know, that's a big win for the uh, the Brewers because, you know, the Cubs, they, they got them right behind them, so they got to keep winning games. And, um, and yeah, so um, Josh Donaldson actually hit a home run uh, last night for the Brewers. They brought him in, um, you know, after uh, the Yankees got rid of him. So I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if Josh Donaldson goes out there and, and um, you know, plays really well for them. It was just rough in New York. And then um, we have uh, the A's beating the Astros last night, defeating the Astros last night 6-2. to two. Uh, J.P. Sears picked up the win. Verlander picked up the loss. And actually, I kind of want to look at Verlander's numbers uh, his, with the Astros since coming back. So... In his last seven games, he's five and two with a four point zero seven ERA. So that actually might be like what his overall numbers are. Well, actually, no, they're not. So they're five and three with the Astros with a three point eight six ERA. So his, you know, it's almost his ERA is near four. So yeah, he's not he's not having the season that he was having last year. Last year, eighteen and four with a one point seven five ERA after missing, you know, the whole season the year before that. So. um yeah, he's not, um, I mean, it's not like he's awful, but he hasn't been, you know, how he was last year, which was dominant. And then you got the Cubs losing last night to the Rockies 6-4, to four, so that's a big loss for the Cubs, um, especially, 
you know, with them in striking distance of getting the Brewers for that, um, you know, the division. So, um, you know, we'll talk about the standings in a second. Then you have the Marlins winning 8 nothing. I did it again. The Mariners winning 8 nothing over the Angels. I keep doing that. So that's a big win for them. Guardians, Guardians winning 3-1 to one over the Giants. And then the Dodgers all over the Padres last night, 11-2. to two. Uh, Lance Lynn picking up the win. Michael Waka picking up the loss. So we go to the standings really quickly before we get into the final segment. And again, I apologize for taking another mini break. Um, I didn't realize my dad was going to... Because we, we had some stuff going on in the house, getting uh, floor redone. So, you know, my dad's doing some cleanup there. So that's why you were hearing a uh, giant vacuum before. So I had to step out because I didn't know how long he was going to vacuum for. So I like, because I'm like, I got to, we're doing the show right now. But it's not not a huge deal. But again, things things like this are going to happen. It's gonna, like, you're going to hear my dog barking. You're going to hear, you know, stuff happening in the background. It's, you might be hearing, I mean, yesterday you were hearing some yard work being done. It's going to happen. You know, it's not... I, I don't live in a, you know, in a majestic forest with, you know, nobody around. You know, it, it's it, stuff like this is going to happen. So, um, but, I, you know, you just got to laugh at it and, you know, go forward. It's not that uh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but anyways, so before we uh, wrap up this segment here. So right now in the updated standings, uh, the Orioles right now have a three game lead over the Rays. Uh, right now, the magic number is 15. So. That's going to go down to the very last week of the season. Um, but again, I think the Orioles will take it. Twins, their magic number is down to 10. They're seven and a half games up on the Guardians. They should have that clinched at some point. Um, sooner than the Orioles, I would say. Then you have the AL West, which is going to be a dogfight to the very end as well. You have the Mariners. I said the Mariners this time. Thank you. One and a half games back. Rangers are one game back. I think the Astros are still going to take it, regardless of you know losing two in a row. I think they're going to take it, but we'll see. Then you got the Braves. Magic number is down to two for the division, so they'll have that wrapped up, like I said, um, within the coming days. Uh, the Cubs are now four games back of the Brewers with their loss yesterday. So right now the Brewers' magic number is 14, and then the Reds sit seven games back. Um, and then, uh, then you have the Dodgers. So they have, uh, their magic number is five, uh, to clinch the division, which they will probably get. So yeah, uh, that's the division. Then with the updated wildcard standings, it's, right now it's the Rays, the Rangers, and then you have the Mariners and the Blue Jays tied uh, for that third wildcard spot. And they are a half a game behind the Rangers for the second wildcard spot. Then you have the Yankees and the Red Sox at seven games back each, but they're not going to make it. So, um, Then you have the Phillies, the Cubs. Diamondbacks are actually two games back of the Cubs for that second wild card spot, so Cubs better be careful with that. Then you have the Reds, who are one game back. Marlins are one and a half games back, and the Giants are one and a half games back as well. So those are the updated standings, and those are the recaps from last night. So with that, we are going to take our final break of the show. And then when we come back... Um, we will talk about Matt Olson and what he is on pace to maybe possibly do, um, you know, as we get closer to the end of the season. So before that, once again, a reminder to tip or donate to the program and get your comments recognized. Go to streamelements.com slash slash tip. This really helps the show. And of course, for bonus coverage, um, materials that are not on the broadcast, go to patreon.com and search up GSMC Sports Network. So we're going to take a quick break, and then when we come back, we will talk about Matt Olson. So stick around. We'll be right back here on the GSMC Baseball Podcast. <laughs> 